So here it is, Keith. I got my flashlight right here. And I wired into the front and the back leads. Goes down. I have a quick weatherproof disconnect right here. And right here, this cable, it comes up from this little gear mechanism that's attached to the spokes. It just goes right on the um, screw down here. Comes up, it's spinning inside here. And I'll take this off so you can see what it is. Well, it's square anyways. It's a square fitting. And this is a little DC motor from a printer. I, um, it just had like the little gear on the front of it. I put a pen cap over it, pushed JB Weld into it, and then I inserted the square tip and pulled it straight out. I put a little bit of oil on there first, and it made a perfect impression. I just did it once of the, um, of this fitting, so then it has somewhere to go. Um, uh, this normally goes to the speedometer right here, which quickly just jumps right over here. It was kind of hard to find the threading on this old bike. Um, it's a 3 8 compression fitting. So to actually get that same fitting over here, over the piece of JB Weld that's in there, I got a, a 3 8 piece of pipe with pipe thread, put it on the end of the DC motor, and I JB Welded it here, and it's actually a 3 8 pipe thread to 3 8 compression fit, 3 8 compression fitting on this side. So you just slide that in there. Easier said than done. Screw it on there. Now, this battery or this flashlight has absolutely no batteries in it. Just has some wires straight from the DC motor. It normally is in a printer, and when you feed it electricity, it spins some mechanical mechanism in the printer. Well, I just pulled it out of the printer, and now when you spin it and don't provide electricity, just spin the output shaft, it creates electricity. That's how DC electricity works. So, I don't really know why, but when I spin the flashlight, or when I spin the wheel, or ride the bike at pretty low speeds, it turns the sign, so it creates some decent voltage. I'm going to test that tomorrow. Um, the light has like, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As a uh, nine LEDs inside of it, and um, I think they it has some circuitry in there so that each one actually lights by itself at a very fast rate. It goes around each LED, and um, I don't think that this creates um, a smooth enough to, um, voltage to actually make that happen as it should. But it has a pretty cool strobing effect that changes as it go quicker and slower and it um it actually works at relatively low speeds so i'm going to set this down and spin it so you can see what it does Pretty good. I guess you can see the bike from there. And just gonna pick the front wheel up and give it a spin. Pretty cool strobing effect. Uh, either way, I think that I need to do definitely do a couple minor changes. I just have everything uh, hose clamped on here.
right now and this isn't weatherproofed or anything so until I actually decide which flashlight I want and if I want to keep the strobe effect or just get a few LEDs that light brighter um, I'm not making anything permanent but that's it dude alright I'll send you more when I get it